All right, guys, let's talk about how we want you to fuel prior to your runs and specifically how to fuel prior to your hard runs and races. So first off, let's talk about timing. So ideal timing, guys, is two to three hours prior to the beginning warming up for your race or for your hard workout. Now, I understand if it is the summer months and you're getting up at 5 a.m. to try to catch the best part of the day, that is probably not going to be a good option for you. Getting up at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. is not worth the trade in sleep. So, in those situations, if you're not planning to eat prior to your hard long runs and races and hard threshold runs, I'd recommend eating a very big snack before you go into bed, getting up in the morning, and then have have your water, have your caffeine if you are having caffeine, and then head out the door for your run right away. And that can be a great option. That's similar to what they do in Ethiopia and Kenya. They just eat really late, big meal, and then they don't eat before the run. So if you want to go the do not eat route, that's what I'd recommend. If you do want to eat before your run, like I ate before every single workout that I did when I was running professionally, before all of my races, all my marathons, and how I did that is I did liquid calories. So you might be wondering, why? Why are you holding this giant bag of carb carbo gain? <laughs> so guys, all this is is maltodextrin. Ordered it on Amazon, super, super cheap. It is a flavorless powder that you can add to any liquid and mix it up in a shaker. I add in 20 grams of protein from your favorite protein drink, whatever that might be. Shake it up and shoot it down and bam, my, my meal is done. And that always sits really well on my stomach. I never had stomach issues when I was out there racing. So this might be something that you want to check out. And the reason why I like carbogain or maltodextrin is because it's a complex carbohydrate so it's going to give you sustained energy yet it is easy to digest which is very difficult to find in the real world so sometimes you got to go kind of the more synthetic route with like a maltodextrin so this can be a really great simple cheap option for you guys to try out especially you guys who have sensitive stomachs and know this wherever you're at in terms of like how much food your stomach can handle prior to hard workouts and races know that you can train your gut in the same way that we train our muscles you can train your stomach to get used to having food in it so if you have a really hard time taking in calories before you run I'd recommend just start really small start with a hundred calories and do that for a couple weeks and then try and increase it to 200 and 300 and really like I love it like I got up to where I could take in 500 calories of liquid calories um, prior to my marathons prior to my half marathons and hard workouts so I'd say that with somewhere in that range of of course, calorie numbers always depend on how big you are. So someone like myself, when I was running professionally, 140 pounds, 500 calories was kind of my sweet spot. If you're a 100 pound woman, 120 pound woman, you might only need 300 or 400. So this is something that we want to play with in training. And I want it to be this way. In horse racing, the bell actually like signals the horse like it's time to go right so they train with the bell so it's just a it's a response an automatic response the horse doesn't even think it hears the bell bam it goes right and we want the same thing actually with your breakfast before your races so we do this by in training before all your hard long runs before all your hard workouts use those as opportunity to to uh reinforce what you're going to have for your breakfast and to find what works for you and what sits well on your stomach. It might be different for you compared to what works for me. So try this out guys. Maltodextrin, 20 grams, simple protein. Um, whey protein is what I always use. See how it sits on your gut and make adjustments in training. So when you go to the start line, you know exactly what you're going to have and you have it dialed in and it's that trained automatic response. I just had this meal. It's go time. It's time to race. All right, guys, I hope that's helpful.